Grade 3 Math, number 63, Order of Operations. This is going to be a very enlightening video. If you don't know what order of operations are, you're going to find out, and it's going to make a big difference in how you do your math. Operations are the way we're going to do things, and they have to be done in a certain order. So, for third grade math, we're going to only do an MDAS, Multiply, Divide, Add, and Subtract. You would do multiplication first, division second, then add, then subtract, and you have to do them in this order. Now, some people, in order to remember the MDAS, say, my dear Aunt Sally, and then the M, the D, the A, and the S are there to help them remember, and if it's not in the equation, you skip it and go to the next operation on the list. So let's say there is no multiplication in the equation. Then you would just divide and then add subtract. What if there is multiplication and division but no adding? Well, then you just do multiply, divide, subtract. As long as you're doing it in this order, okay? So if it's not in there, just skip it and do the next thing in, in order. Now, the reason I'm saying this is third grade math is because when you get to fifth grade math, we're going to add a P and an E above it, so it's PEMDAS instead of just MDAS. And the way fifth graders and older remember this is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, you can come up with anything you want to remember this. You could say, please excuse mom, dad, and sister. It's up to you. So, I'm going to show you this when we're finished, this harder problem for a fifth grade level. But first, let's look at this third grade level, okay? If you want to get it right and use the order of operations, this is the way you would do it. Now remember, MDAS, multiply, divide, add, subtract. So when you see this on this side, there's a subtraction problem, but we're not going to do that because that's at the bottom, that's number four. There's a multiplication problem right here, see? So we're going to do that first because that's number one on the list. So we do the two times four and we get eight. All right. Now we do the subtraction. 10 take away the 8, and our answer is 2. So the answer is 2. That's the correct answer. Now, look at this. If you just went straight across, or mm, I forgot, I wasn't paying attention in class, so I don't know what order operations is. I don't care, and I'll do it any way I can. I'm smart. I can figure this out. I'm just going to do it the way it is. So I'm going to do 10 take away 2 which is 8, and then I'm going to multiply it by 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Well, guess what? You would get that marked wrong because ugh, it is very wrong. Because you didn't follow the order of operations, the real answer is 2, and you'll get it marked wrong on the test. So, you can't just do it straight across. When you see a complicated equation like this with a lot of different operations in it, you've got to follow the order of operations. I'm going to show you again. So, we're going to do this with order of operations and with no order of operations, okay? 12 plus 16 divided by 4. Well, there's no multiplication, so we don't have to do the M, but there's a D for division. So, 16 divided by 4. How many 4s go into 16? 4 times 4 is 16, so that would be a 4. Now, we're going to add the 12. See? We did this part first. Now, we're going to do the adding. 12 plus 4, 4 equals 16. Okay? So now, let's do it without order of operations. What's 12 plus 16? 6 plus 2 is 8. 1 plus 1 is 2. So now, we have 28 divided by 4, because this equals 28, and we're going to divide it by 4. What times 4 equals 28? 7. So look, if we used the order of operations, we got 16, which is the correct answer. If we didn't use order of operations, we get 7. And you know what? You'd get it marked wrong in the test. Vision. 16 divided by 4, how many 4s are in 16? 4 times 4 is 16. Now we're going to add the 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Now let's do it without order of operations. 8 plus 16. 
8 and 6 is 14. Carry the 1, put the 4 down. 1 and 1 is 2. So now we've got 24 from this, and we're going to divide it by 4. How many 4s fit in 24? 4 times 6 is 24, so that would be a 6. Well, 12 is the right answer. You would get an A on your test if you did it this way. But if you did it without order of operations, you'd get a 6, and you'd get it marked wrong. Okay? Here's the last one we're going to show you, and then I'll show you the 5th grade one. We've got 5 plus 20 divided by 5. There's no multiplication, okay? So we're going to go right to division. 20 divided by 5. How many 5's are in 20? 5, 10, 15, 20. 4. Now we're going to do the addition. 5 plus 4 is 9. Now let's do it without order of operations. 5 plus 20 is 25. 25 divided by 5. How many 5's are in 25? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There's 5 of them. Look, that's the correct answer. You would get an A on your homework or your test. And this one, it would be marked wrong and you'd get an F. If you did your whole test that way, you'd end up getting none of the problems correct and you'd get an F on your test. So you have to follow the order of operations, okay? So, in the fifth grade version, it says you do parentheses first, then the exponent, which is this little guy up here, then you multiply, divide, add, or subtract. So parentheses first, we would do 3 plus 4, which is 7. Then we would do the exponent over here. 6 squared means 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. When a 2 is next to a parentheses like that, that means to multiply. Okay? So, now we're going to multiply. So we've got 2 times 7, which is 14, minus 36. Do you see how that happened? Now, if we didn't do order of operations and we just went straight across, we would come up with a complete different equation. Okay? And then this gets into negative numbers because there are numbers to the left of the zero on the number line, and you'll get into that when you get into fifth grade math. But for right now, just worry about the MDAS part. We'll get into this when we do fifth grade math. Don't worry about that. But do worry about your order of operations. Make sure you multiply, then divide, add, subtract. And if it's not in the equation, you skip it and go to the one that is in it, like we did over here. Okay? Very big deal to follow the correct order of operations. Keep up the good work, keep working on your times table, and I'll see you next video.